Derek had left it on the counter, right out in the open. What if one of the kids had taken it? The two youth cookies sat on a small blue plate covered with a clear glass top on the kitchen counter. Karen attempted to ignore them as she readied her belongings for work. She glanced at the clock above the sink 8.35. God, she was going to be late. Karen was still in her bra and panties trying to read her reports, make muffins, and finish her coffee. Karen tried to concentrate on her paper, but found she was reading the same paragraph over and over. She moved around the kitchen as if in a dream, performing her morning rituals on autopilot. Her entire attention was drawn to the cookies. She imagined what they would say at the office when she waltzed into the morning meeting looking like a 20-year-old. The clothes she could wear again wow. Her mind reeled with possibilities. And Derek, what a surprise for him, she could wear one of her fantasy costumes sexy schoolgirl or cheerleader when he came home. She would look really good and appropriate in them now. It wasn't that Karen was old, but at 48 she knew she wasn't as tight and fresh looking as she had been. So, when Derek had jokingly pulled up a website with youth cookies they laughed. But they read further and their scoffing turned to interest. Youth in an easy to swallow form, no strange vials or potions or chanting. What could be a more appropriate edible symbol for recapturing youth than a cookie? Ice cream maybe, but that's a little hard to send overnight FedEx. The website had actual testimony and before and after pictures. It all seemed like a scam, but the pictures displayed in the before column had various men and women all over 50, then in the after poses they looked 20 or so, some a little younger. The pictures were good because of the daily newspapers they had the subjects hold up to the camera. Plus, the clothes were the same, they were all dressed in a contemporary fashion. So, half serious, half hoping, half jokingly they ordered the cookies. Karen now sat and stared at the blue plate turning the events over in her mind. Moments clicked by. Suddenly, Karen decided she would do it. She picked up the plate and read the instructions printed underneath eat half with milk. She poured a glass of milk and ate the cookie. It instantly began to take hold of her. Her body felt warm. She looked down at herself and watched as her slightly sagging breasts began to firm and pull upward. She noticed the veins in her legs had disappeared and seemed to be tightened and firming. She stretched her arms out and laughed. She judged herself to be about 37. This is great, it really does work. She said out loud. Her skin felt tighter and tighter and her energy seemed to be returning in leaps and bounds. She was beginning to feel invincible. Her legs now looked sculpted and toned. Her breasts were now completely firm and looked to be about a healthy 36 C. She looked down again to judge her age. She appeared to be about 25. Wow, this stuff works fast. She thought. However, at this point she realized that she was still very warm and her skin was beginning to feel itchy. She looked down again. Wait. Did the counter seem closer? Was she getting shorter? She glanced at her body. Oh no. Her breasts were receding. She appeared to be about a 32 B. They were firmer and barely filled the bra now. Her panties had also become much more loose. Her hips had slimmed and her legs were getting thinner and thinner. Karen grabbed onto the counter for stability. It was then she got really scared. As she held onto the counter she felt her arms stretch upward as the counter moved toward the ceiling. It was as if she was slowly kneeling but she was standing on her own little feet. Then everything stopped. Karen had closed her eyes in fear, but now she slowly opened them. She looked down and screamed, I look like I'm eight. She was right. The moments that followed were not pleasant. She cried, she screamed, she ranted, and raved. She pounded her fists and cursed the internet and Derek several times. After all was expelled from her system she sat down, wrote a note to Derek, made two phone calls and went to the bedroom and waited. She chose the chair opposite the bedroom door. At 6 o'clock Derek whistled his way into the kitchen from the garage. He was happy because he had found a last-minute babysitter for the kids. This way, Karen and he would have all weekend alone. And, he was secretly hoping the cookies really worked, if not, they could fantasize and play around like they really did. Derek opened the refrigerator, grabbed a bottle of water and noticed the plate. One cookie was gone. Oh he thought someone started without me. The note next to the cookie was scented and signed with a K in red lipstick. This was their signal that play was in the air. The note read I ate one of the cookies and it really works, it made me young and sexy and very horny. I am waiting in the bedroom for a young sexy man to come and teach me about love, eat a cookie and drink a glass of milk then come take me. Derek nearly spilled the milk twice pouring it into the glass. Moments later, the cookie and milk were in his system. He took off his tie and jacket and walked into the bedroom. He pushed the door open and stared at the little girl sitting opposite him. After a moment of silence Derek asked. Well, who are you, little girl? It's me you idiot. Karen sneered. Karen told Derek of her experience. Derek tried to reason with Karen. However, Karen in order to end the argument handed Derek a piece of paper. 
They were the printed instructions from the website along with his transaction record. The instructions read eat half with milk. This meant half a cookie. Derek had inadvertently double-clicked his submit button and placed the order twice. They had sent them an order for four, not two. Karen had taken a double dose. Derek then realized what she was saying. He had just eaten a whole cookie. Why Derek asked. I want you to see what it feels like. Karen laughed. You turned me into a sexless eight-year-old. Look at me. With that Karen climbed out of the chair and stripped off her bra and panties. Derek stared at the woman he used to know. She was cute, small, flat-chested, hairless, and pissed off. It was then that Derek began to make some calculations in his head. If Karen, at 48 had become 8, he was about to become 5. Then it happened, seemingly faster to Karen than she remembered. She watched as Derek shrank and receded into his clothes. Then little Derek stood looking up into his naked wife's eyes. Looking up? Karen smirked at the tiny little boy in front of her now. Not so big now, are you little boy? She emphasized the last words. Come here she snapped. I've been waiting all day for this. Karen grabbed the small five-year-old right out of his clothes and sat back down on the chair and threw Derek across her lap. Smack. Smack. She spanked him for about a minute, until her hand couldn't handle any more. His bottom was red and he was crying, really crying. She was in heaven. Suddenly, the bedroom door opened and there stood Julie. Julie was 18 and here to pick up the Thompson kids. Julie walked over and loomed above Karen. I don't think you're old enough to be spanking your brother, do you? Julie asked. Fuck off, who the hell are you? Karen shot back. Julie was stunned. Meanwhile, Derek had taken this opportunity to escape off of Karen's lap. She's the babysitter I hired. Derek said, sounding just like a five-year-old. That's so cute, Julie cooed at Derek. She then leaned over toward him giving him a full view of the top of her breasts. Derek took the view in fully. Are you okay? Julie asked. She didn't hurt you. Derek shook his head no moving closer to his protector. Karen grew furious watching Derek leer at this bimbo, plus for hiring her in the first place. You bastard quit staring at her boobs. Karen shouted. You need another spanking. And with that Julie had had enough. The language and attitude of this little girl was too much. So as Karen made a grab for Derek she felt herself yanked upward causing her to twist on the tips of her toes. Julie had her by the wrist. Julie then sat down and pulled Karen with ease over her lap. Karen then realized what was coming and attempted to scramble to safety. Holding Karen with her left hand on her back Julie began spanking Karen. Karen kicked and cried and pleaded. I'll be good, I swear, I'll be good. She screamed. Derek chuckled silently. An hour later, found Karen and Derek sitting in the back of Julie's Ford Escort. Karen was still sniffling from her spanking for refusing to go. I'm gonna get you for this, I don't know how, but I'll find a way. Karen whispered to Derek. Karen's swearing. Derek sang out from the back seat. Julie pulled the car over out of traffic and leaned over the back seat and glared at the two regressed adults. Knock it off. If you don't stop, you won't even be able to sit down. Or I could stop and get some milk and you could have some more cookies. Does that sound good? Derek and Karen looked at each other. Julie turned back around and pulled back into traffic. I wonder which one of you looks cuter in diapers? Maybe we'll just have to find out. Julie chuckled to herself as the kids in the back began to silently sniffle. The end. Derek had left it on the counter, right out in the open. What if one of the kids had taken it? The two youth cookies sat on a small blue plate covered with a clear glass top on the kitchen counter. Karen attempted to ignore them as she readied her belongings for work. She glanced at the clock above the sink 8.35. God, she was going to be late. Karen was still in her bra and panties trying to read her reports, make muffins, and finish her coffee. Karen tried to concentrate on her paper, but found she was reading the same paragraph over and over. She moved around the kitchen as if in a dream, performing her morning rituals on autopilot. Her entire attention was drawn to the cookies. She imagined what they would say at the office when she waltzed into the morning meeting looking like a 20-year-old. The clothes she could wear again wow. Her mind reeled with possibilities. And Derek, what a surprise for him, she could wear one of her fantasy costumes sexy schoolgirl or cheerleader when he came home. She would look really good and appropriate in them now. It wasn't that Karen was old but at 48 she knew she wasn't as tight and fresh looking as she had been. So, when Derek had jokingly pulled up a website with youth cookies they laughed. But they read further and their scoffing turned to interest. Youth in an easy to swallow form, no strange vials or potions or chanting. What could be a more appropriate edible symbol for recapturing youth than a cookie? Ice cream maybe, but that's a little hard to send overnight FedEx. The website had actual testimony and before and after pictures. It all seemed like a scam but the pictures displayed in the before column had various men and women all over 50, 
then in the after poses they looked 20 or so, some a little younger. The pictures were good because of the daily newspapers they had the subjects hold up to the camera.